What's up guys, Omega Dan here and welcome back to my channel. Now it's safe to assume that you own a smartphone and it's just become an integral part of my life. I mean, I browse the internet, I check different apps, social media and playing games. You can almost do anything. But the thing is, over the years, various sources have claimed that the EMF radiation being generated by these kind of small devices is slowly causing harm to our health. Wait, what? Okay, here's the deal. Your phone's hardware, along with the cell signal, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, all generate forms of non-ionizing radiation called electromagnetic field radiation, which can also consist of radio frequency radiation. Now, all of this is absorbed into our bodies through our body tissue, and it's usually where we hold our cell phones close to our bodies, whether it's around our waist in our smartphone holsters, or when we're making phone calls, we hold it up to our ears and to our heads. Now the scary thing is, various research and experiments have been done on the topic and the results have stated that even though non-ionizing radiation such as electromagnetic field radiation is supposedly non-lethal to humans, there have been cases in which it's been linked to brain defects as well as infertility in men, cancer, as well as damage to DNA over long periods of exposure time. Now of course, various other sources will say that there is no correlation between this and these health concerns, but as I always say, it is better to be safe than sorry. So asking you to throw away your smartphone will be as if asking you to cut off ties with a good friend, and I know how depressing that can be for some people. So I decided to find an alternative. I went on Amazon and I found a few items that supposedly block slash deflect EMF radiation generated from your smartphones and protect you from all of that. So we're gonna look through these items and see which one is right for you and if they work at all. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. So for this review, I'm going to be using the Meter K EMF meter radiation detector. This is a very nice budget portable detector with a clear LCD screen. With it, you can also change between two measurement units, milligauss or micro Tesla. There is also a data hold and peak hold mode and can also set the safe value. When the reading passes the set safe value, the screen will turn red and beep loudly. For these reviews, I'm going to be using milligauss. Additionally, I will be using the Axon 7 and Huawei Mate SE phones for the review of these products. It is when during phone calls does the radiation truly start acting up at stronger levels. Below are the highest levels the meter has picked up from each phone, which I recorded before the video. As you can see, both have reached levels that are well beyond the recommended exposure limit of 0.5 to 2.5 milligauss stated by the Environmental Protection Agency. First on our list is this phone pouch from SYB Shield Your Body. This has an average rating of 4 out of 5 stars among 144 reviews. For $28 on Amazon, this product is stated to be able to reduce cell phone radiation up to 99%. This is well-constructed neoprene with high-quality stitching and a thin-profile belt loop which can have you holster it on your belt. The rear of the pouch is lined with a polyester-based fabric that is woven with gozamer thin metallic thread, composed of a nickel, copper, cobalt alloy that forms a shield that to deflect EMF radiation from your body. So, for this we are going to try the Axon 7 and try calling it and see if the meter can pick up any readings for EMF radiation while the phone is in this pouch. So the reading shows 21.8 milligauss. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed because I've had this for a little while and it seems as if it doesn't really um, deflect much of the radiation being generated from your phone as a good amount of it is still being absorbed into your body. Next up is this Faraday bag from Wisdom Pro which has an average rating of 4.1 out of 5 stars among 502 reviews. Selling for just $9 on Amazon, the main selling point for this bag is to protect your personal and financial data by blocking RFID scanners. However, the inner silver layer supposedly blocks cell phone signals for privacy and data protection and has another normal layer for extra storage of small items. The bag itself has a sleek and modern form factor and is portable. Using the Mate SE for this test, it's time to see if their claims hold true. Mm. 
Well, what can I say? This actually went above my expectations because for $9, you're getting something that really blocks the EMF radiation. I mean, the meter didn't pick up anything whatsoever and the phone wasn't ringing inside there at all, so no signals went through. I have to say that this thing really does work. Next in line is this EMF Radiation Protection Shield Pendant Necklace by Pure Goods. This has an average rating of 4.5 out of 5 stars among 333 reviews. Now you're probably wondering about the cracks. Well, sadly, I dropped it earlier and various pieces broke off in which I had to use crazy glue in order to put it back together. So yeah, this is the definition of fragile. The pendant is decently big and is made from black tourmaline. Now if you believe in the healing and protective properties of crystals, black tourmaline should protect your body from electromagnetic radiation as well as increase your health, vitality and positive energy. So have you ever heard of the placebo effect? That's what I think this is because I've been wearing it for a few days, no changes in mood or whatsoever, nor do I feel any like surge of happiness or, you know, betterment of health you know, other than what I would get from eating a bowl of fruits or vegetables. So I think there's mostly a placebo effect. If your mind tells you that it's working, then it'll work. But it's basically all still coming from your mind, so it's coming from you. However, can this pendant help absorb or block EMF radiation from my Mate SE and Axon 7? Let's find out. So based on these results, I can make the clear argument that many of those positive reviews for this pendant are either paid reviews or probably bots because this doesn't do anything much to deflect or reduce the EMF radiation being generated from your phone. I can say that this is mainly a placebo effect and this won't really protect you at all from the radiation being absorbed into your body. Last up is this Faraday bag from Mission Darkness, which has an astounding average rating of 4.8 out of 5 stars among 335 reviews. You can learn more about Mission Darkness on its main website, but essentially they have quite the selection of products which offer radio frequency shielding capabilities primarily for law enforcement, military forensic investigators, and anti-hacking and anti-tracking protection. This Faraday bag in particular has two layers of high shielding fabric on both sides with dual paired seam construction which aims to block Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cell signals, GPS, RFID and radio signals. The flexible and durable outer material is a water resistant ballistic nylon. Now considering this is from such a reputable company, let's try this out with both phones and see what we get. With the Axon 7 out of the way, let's try it out using the Huawei Mate SE and see if the reader can pick up any EMF radiation coming through the bag. You have reached the voicemail box. They say seeing is believing and as you can see, the meter didn't pick up any kind of EMF radiation coming from the phone. Now you saw what I saw. Basically, the Wisdom Pro Faraday bag and the Faraday bag from Mission Darkness work perfectly fine and are a go. When you put your phone in them, no cell signal, no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. It works as intended and traps the EMF radiation in there like champs. The SYB pouch and the pendants, on the other hand, are basically duds. It doesn't really reduce any radiation, if any at all, from your smartphone. And frankly, as I said with the pendants, basically like a placebo effect and the pouch just doesn't work out. It's still absorbing a very lethal amount of um, EMF radiation. Now that being said, if you're interested in any of these items, look down in the description below for the links and please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll know when new videos are out on my channel. Now thanks again for watching and please remember to live life and stay connected. Till next time.